cancer. In 2011, 12.7 million people were diagnosed with it, and this number is steadily increasing. You have probably heard of treatments such as chemotherapy and radiation therapy, which, although help cancer patients, cause miserable side effects, and aren't always effective. But what if I told you that the cure to cancer didn't have to be external? That you didn't have to blast a tumor with drugs or particles to get it to shrink? What if I told you that cancer could be cured by your own immune system? Our bodies have sophisticated immune systems built inside them, with several types of cells, each engineered with a specific purpose. One of the most important of these cells is known as the T-cell, whose purpose is to target and destroy damaged cells. In fact, T-cells are the ones that make sure we don't all have cancer by keeping defective cells at bay. If this is the case though, why do people still get cancer? The answer lies in what is happening at the cellular level. There are millions of cells in your body, each with a unique receptor that can fit only one type of antigen. An antigen is a receptor which marks a foreign substance in your body. Think of each antigen as a lock and each T-cell as a key. Only one key can fit a specific lock. When a T-cell with a complementary receptor to the foreign antigen bonds, it releases certain toxins that kill the cell. This is the same process that occurs with a cancerous cell. There is a T-cell with a complementary receptor to, a, to the cancerous cell which binds onto the cell's antigen. The problem here occurs due to co-stimulatory molecules. A co-stimulatory molecule is one that enhances the encounter between two cells, and oftentimes is helpful. Cancer cells, however, can begin to develop strategies in which they produce molecules which allow them to escape T-cells. These molecules attach to receptors on the T-cell, which triggers T-cell apoptosis, or death, before the T-cell can kill the tumor. Thus, instead of the tumor cell dying, the T-cell dies instead. This is a form of what is known as immune evasion and is a process which keeps cancer proliferating without interference. There is something that can be done though. Meet the antibody. An antibody is something that neutralizes an antigen by binding to it, making it unable to interact with other cells. As the receptors that trigger T-cell apoptosis are identified, complementary antibodies can be designed in the lab and injected back into the body, stopping the T-cell death from ever happening. This is what makes immunotherapy such a fascinating field in cancer research. Of course, this isn't the only type of immune evasion, and even in this type there are several receptors which can promote T-cell apoptosis, but as research into this field continues, our knowledge gets deeper and deeper and immunotherapeutic options get better and better. Thanks for watching.